the wildfires in Canada. Canada is literally burning. <laughs> Like, yeah. The whole thing. I think I saw nine out of their 13 provinces are on fire. No way. Nine out of 13? Yes. What? Like the whole place is just burning up. Jeez, maybe I should have been paying closer attention to this because like this was a big deal when it first came out and I grew up in Southern California where like we had wildfires all the time. And you know, we didn't have snow days in Southern California. We had smoke days where you didn't go to school because yep. there was so much smoke, you know, and that was common out there. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, dude, this is just the East. They don't know what fires are. You know what I mean? Oh, but no. geez, nine so, out of 13. I That's guess crazy. I guess Canada already has like a fire season. Like they already deal with fire fires quite a okay. bit, um, which I didn't know until this. So um, there was a like a state of there was like a smoke, like an air quality warning telling everybody to stay inside New York. Yeah, because it was yep. all getting pushed down there. So mm -hmm. that's starting to clear up now. Like um, it's starting to get better. Thank God, because the air quality was like climbing to the worst in the world in New York. Um, but, some of the pictures are gnarly. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're bad. And we can put some pictures up of the smoke. It's wild. Um, but I so I saw that there's a lot of political debate, of course, because they're talking about climate change and yeah. stuff. But let, let's just talk about I'll, I'll just read off here. Um, on BBC, how they started, what they're saying. So the first local state of emergency was declared in Alberta on May 4th, um, and hundreds of blazes have broken out across the country with more than 400 active fires as of 7th of June. 400? Yep. What? Mo Did it all start from one? No. Or is this spreading? Like the, the sparks are like... It didn't just start from one, um, so it's they're in a drought right now. So they're saying it's climate change, and they're in a drought, and it's hotter than normal, so it's really dry there. And uh, th okay, th that this is where this is going. Is everybody's asking why? Who's starting this? What's going That's on? That's my first thought. Is someone's got to be starting them? <sighs> Okay, <laughs> we'll get on to that in a minute. Okay, so what most, is it conspiracy? There's there's uh, uh, some conspiracy theories dude. going around. Okay, arson's not a conspiracy. Okay, <laughs> they they sh they'll be able to tell if it's an arsonist. I mean, there's a lot of fires to investigate, like yeah. unprecedented. Yeah, but amount. like. I'm pretty sure the people who investigate these fires are amazing at it. Like, they can be in a helicopter and be like, okay, so I can tell they it track this way and this way, and then get to the start and, like, can get down to inches of where it started. You know, they're I, really I get good. It. I get it. They are really good at their jobs. Um, most of the more than 2,000 fires that Canada has seen this year are thought to have been started by humans. Some, particularly in Quebec, were sparked by lightning strikes. Dead trees left to stand and poor forestry management have also been blamed. Um, experts say the modern practice of trying to totally suppress fires can stop forests from creating natural fire breaks that would historically have reduced the wildfire spread. So then you get into the whole climate change thing where they're saying, you know, the earth is warming up and all of that. We hear that every day. There's been a lot of debate. You have dims like, you know, screaming at the top of their lungs. See, it's real. Whole uh, Canada's burning up. And then you have conservatives. Is it even a question anymore? Climate change? Like it. How is it? Is, it? <laughs> it is one I feel like no one should be able to argue it anymore. Like, the earth is heating up, but they have came out with reasons why it's heating up. Mm -hmm. It's been proven that the earth goes through cycles where it gets hotter at times than other. And they have been able to tell that through trees, from soil samples, from all kinds yeah. of stuff. So, like, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're doing it, but there are things that we could do to help earth, okay? Yeah. I think I'm probably in the middle on the topic, honestly. I, I don't doubt that the earth is heating up, but I also think that it's been going through these phases for its entire life, like scientists are saying it has. Well, yeah, they're saying that the... So they have a fire season, which is summer, and they're mm -hmm. saying it's extended. Like the time span is extended for their fire okay. season. Um, and they also say they don't... Like it says, how long is this going to last? They have, they said maybe July. Like they, 
they don't know. Like the smoke is clearing here because of the, there was like a low pressure swirling system that was blowing all the smoke into our area, but they're still on fire. Like these aren't going away. Um, and they're saying that in like maybe July, it'll start clearing up. There's so many people displaced, which I want to mention real quick. There are ways you can help if you would like to donate, and I will link this in the description. There's the Canadian Red Cross, United Way, Donate a Mask, and Firefighters Without Borders. Those are like four of the major main ones. Um, are they fighting all of them, or do they let 10 them 10 million go acres. To- 10 million acres and it's just i've seen i don't know why it's saying twenty thousand people that it's this place i've heard a hundred thousand or more okay because okay. this is like forests mostly yeah. but um i've heard it's been like over a hundred thousand people and it's saying twenty thousand here but i think it's more than that jeez how many does it say how many actual homes have burnt up no, I I just see acres, the acres, the acreage is all that it's talking about and how many fires um, and how many people have been displaced. I have mm. displaced. They haven't came out with a number that I have seen on an exact number of houses, um, but there has been a bunch of conspiracy theories or I'm going to focus on Always. one. So there's people, obviously, especially on the right, who deny climate change. Like, we all know this. See, that's Um, what I was curious about. If there are still people that are trying to deny it. So they're saying, which, let me find the lady's name real quick. I have it here. She thinks it's eco-terrorism. She's saying that. People who believe that the earth is warming up are eco-terrorists. That is... No, I mean, yeah. Insane. So, so she's saying, okay, I bet... Okay, this is tweeted on Monday by Maxime Bernier, the leader of the Far Rights People Party of Canada. She said, I bet a good portion of the wildfires... Wildfires... Oh, my gosh. Wildfires raging across the country were started by green terrorists who want to give their climate change campaign a little boost. The far left are experts at inventing and creating crisis they can exploit. Okay, I'm I'm just a little confused. How? how okay, so this is so weird that they, they've taken the, the wildfires and turned it into something about climate change me. because, like... The fire started. It's raging. This is a now situation, a now issue that we need to focus on and get resolved for the betterment of the people in Canada and the U.S. Um, Like, the only thing that seems like it matters is that their fire season has been extended because the earth is warming. warming. So, like, why is it such a big issue? So she's trying to say that there's now this shadow enemy that all the people that are for climate change, um, they are going around and starting these fires so yeah. they can be like, look, the earth's heating up because there's fires. Well, there's people feeding into this on Twitter. There's already been fires forever. Uh, forever. What do you mean? Forever. My Chile. Chile right now is suffering one of the worst wildfires they've ever had. California so this is, always burns dude, up. No, always. no way are we going to Chile and setting it on fire and doing eco-terrorism to boost anything. Like, come on. Like, we're not going all over the world and setting these fires. Like, no. No. Like, this hurts a lot of people. This costs a lot of money. I don't I think that's happening. I would hope that's not happening because so, that would be, God. Oh, my gosh. They need to hang that person if somebody is going around Absolutely. doing that with the point of trying to prove, like, climate, oh, change. Hey, climate change is real. No, you are going to prison. So, That's real. So the burning, like environments do burn for rebirth. Like this is an old yep. thing that the Indians noticed a long time ago. We have found out things about different, you know, climates around the world. California is one of them. It's a chaparral. It burns to renew itself. Like this does happen naturally. But so there's there's been people on Twitter who have been feeding into this and speculating uh, a lot of conservatives speculating arsonist space lasers, pyrotechnic drones. 
are setting these fires, that they're go eco terrorists are like who believe in climate change are using space lasers and like fire drones and setting these fires. Whoa. They think that is more reasonable and logical than climate change. Whoa. <laughs> yes, I feel like we needed our uh, our metal hats for this one. <laughs> Jeez, that is ridiculous, is man. Is That's so crazy. Let's let's go fly our space fire breathing drones and shoot space lasers into forests. Are all conservatives like hardcore X Files fans or something? I don't know, man. They must Jeez. be. People are so quick to believe conspiracies too. I know. And like, look, I get it. Alex Jones has been right in a lot of things, but normally the things he's right about are like uh, things that are realistic, not mm-hmm. that somebody's fi- flying a drone into space and firing their lasers down to start these fires. That just sounds so ridiculous to me. Who would have the time? Because, like, there's nobody benefiting in this situation. Nobody. This whole situation is all lost. There are no companies that's benefiting. There are no... Um, no, major rich families that could be benefiting from the pay of resources. Like, there's nothing that you can benefit from here. No, nothing. It's just a loss. Period. It's nothing. a total loss. And um, they're going through a drought. So, what? Yeah. California was in a drought for like ten years straight, dude. And this, what, last six months or whatever, they finally are getting through it. I know it. it's wild. Man. Um, so the World Meteorological Association's most recent for- forecast for global ten- temperatures anticipates the world is set to heat by 1.8 degrees Celsius over pre pre-industrial levels in the coming years. Um, so the Paris Agreement signed in 2015 envisioned that we would need to plateau our greenhouse gas emissions by this year and then like go down, decline a lot by t- 2030 uh, if we want to prevent this 1.3 or 1.5 or whatever warming. And we're like, I don't, not. <laughs> I don't believe... Okay, so this is where I differ from this. I don't believe there is a stop. I okay. do not believe. I believe that the Earth is an organism. You can think of it similar to like a yin and yang type organism where no matter what we do on it, the Earth is going to go through its normal phases, normal cycles... Uh, and everything because we've never had a, a human race that we can remember or or find evidence for as far back as we can go that had the type of industrialization that we did that had computer that were using the gas and oil uh, production or yeah. coal like we are now as far back as we can look we've never seen that and but scientists can prove that the earth has heated up and cooled, heated up and cooled yeah. in small increments. I'm not talking like ice age. all the ice melts and everyone's flooded, then the whole earth, earth freezes. Like not, not like that. We're talking minor increases and decreases, increases and decreases here. And they've been able to prove that. So I, I don't know. Do I think that what we're doing could make it increase faster or to a higher point? Maybe. I'm not an expert on it. But uh, I think it's going to increase no matter what. I mean, I know when I was a kid going, so visiting my grandma's house in Illinois from California or Tennessee when I live in Tennessee, the snow used to be so high it would go up to my chest. And I was like, I don't want to say like five or something like that. Mm. Um, it, that was deep snow. It was multiple feet. That snow does not happen anymore. It, yeah. it literally never happens. Ever. I, mm. There hasn't been a year since I've been an adult that it has happened. Hmm. Not at all. So, I, I mean, I see evidence of it that we're warming up, but not not everyone wants to admit it. It's a scary thing that if we are affecting it so greatly that we could destroy our Earth. <laughs> like, 
who wants to think about that? Yeah. But the thing scary. is, is you have to like look at the facts and make a good decision, not yeah. just ignoring it. Ignoring it isn't going to help anything no. until we're to the point where we can't do anything about it at all. Uh, and I we're agree. screwed. So, I mean, this shit matters. We can't yep. just ignore it. Um, I'm glad you called out the places where people uh, can support those for, uh, like, corporations or, or whatever they were. Um, that's important for yeah. people that want to do something. Yeah, I'll link it. Don't feel bad if you can't. No. Even just knowing the truth and knowing what's going on um, goes a long way. I, I personally think there's more value in truth than there is monetary value you know what i mean yeah just know your information know your stuff so that you can't be uh pulled into a political hot button topic when something's being talked about that isn't even true yeah so so there's um Former NHL player turned conspiracy theorist Theo Fleury has taken this idea of ecoterrorism further, alleging progressives are weaponizing the fires to force climate lockdowns now because they're telling you to stay in your house with an air purifier and wear a mask. And sh- oh, now it's climate lockdowns. Oh, <laughs> they want to keep us inside on okay. our computers. Wow. Like, no, maybe you don't want to go outside and, like, breathe in a bunch of smoke and, like, die. Die. You know? I mean, just don't follow it, bro. Take off your mask and go play outside. Go play some soccer at the park. It sounds like a good idea for you. No kidding. You. So, um, I, I did find an article from the Washington Examiner who... Basically says that climate change isn't the main thing to blame. That you have people on the left taking this as like a golden ticket to like force climate change on everybody, okay? Like this is climate change. Like you guys are idiots. Look at it. We need to do this. We need to do that. And then you have people on the right like doing the conspiracy theory thing. But they said in reality... It is forest management management Hmm. that is the problem. Now, it says that there's a lot of, at this moment in time, what they are really blaming it on is unchecked brush and overgrowth with the dryness. With the drought, yeah. Yes. So And that um, makes sense. it, it, It does make sense. But at the same time, it's like... Would we have to worry about brush if we didn't have an issue with droughts and climate change? (laughs) No. Yeah. So, I don't, I, it's hard to know exactly what the truth is with this. I, I honestly, to me, being reasonable, it sounds like both. Yeah. It just sounds like both. You can't say it's all forest. You can't say it's all the management of the forest because, Hey, we like the earth exists perfectly in itself. I agree. It doesn't mess up till we come in and mess it up. So the yeah. fact that we think us humans need to manage the force to make sure it doesn't set on fire it sounds ridiculous to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. It it sounds like it's both. Um Yeah, I'm sure it is a little bit of both. Normally that's how uh things end up happening yep. is uh is it's somewhere in the middle. It's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and it's bam in the middle. So absolutely doesn't surprise me at all. I'm sh- there's let, let's be real. There's always better ways to do something. Okay, so when it comes to managing the brush or the people that uh, have to make sure that these fires don't get out of control and get outrageous, um, could they have done a better job? Without me even seeing what their job is and what they should have been doing, I can already tell you yes. Because in any position, in any job, you can always do a better job. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. There was a chart pulled up here, which I don't know why I'm not seeing it now, but it showed their fire season, and this year isn't even at the top of that chart. And I was like, what? Like, there were years a few years ago that were worse than... So that could just be politics. 
that politics yeah. got a hold of it and this is what happens i think so and d- yeah. don't get me wrong this is like horrible like it's it's a lot of forestry burning here i think that was it right here look mm-hmm. but i mean this is the beginning of the fire season so yeah. maybe this is just like a lot for the beginning and they're mm-hmm. worried it's gonna be like really bad but 2014 was worse 2013 was worse 2015 was worse 2017 2021 but we're just at the beginning so maybe this will in the end end up being way worse yeah um but i thought that was also interesting yeah i i save all my links but i'll link that and i'll link the donations and stuff and the information here so that you can look into it yourself um and you know, if you can, I mean, help them out up there. Yeah. It's if not, know deal. your information. If not, yes, know your information so you don't buy into conspiracy theories about space lasers. <laughs> okay. Right. But let space us know what laser, you think about lasers it. Lasers are so much cooler to think about, though. I know it is cooler, but that doesn't mean it's reasonable. I would rather walk around with my foil hat on and think about space lasers, man. I get it. Me too. Yep. 